let's talk about primitive bows and tree stands. Two things that that really don't go together real well because if you're you know hunting with a primitive bow typically we're trying to you know recreate a primitive style hunt and then to be up in a modern tree stand uh, at least in my opinion kind of defeats the purpose of hunting primitive you know primitive man didn't typically have these modern tree stands uh, they may have in certain instances hunted from some larger trees which I occasionally do and I enjoy doing um, you know so but I'm really talking about just modern tree stands that we're putting up and they're not primitive and the same thing kind of goes with pop-up ground blinds and stuff too I mean if you're gonna hunt out of a tent uh, you might as well just be shooting a modern bow I mean you're, you're just taking the whole primitive aspect out of the hunt and again that's just me personally I just you know if I'm trying to recreate something I'm not going to do it halfway I want to do the whole thing and the tree stand does unfortunately get on my nerves you know, because it does ruin that primitive aspect, but they also come in really handy, and they're really important to us in this day and age to hunt. And and it comes down to land opportunity or land loss. You know, land opportunities that are lost. You know, we don't have this area that we can just roam around and hunt wherever we want. I mean, we're so overpopulated. Everybody's got property lines. We're obsessed with mine, 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 you can't cross the fence and hunt somewhere else. So if the wind is wrong in this particular spot, we can't just go to the other side of the oak hammock or the other side of the swamp head and hunt. Or, um, you know, if we've only got 10 acres or 20 acres to hunt, uh, if you decide you want to still hunt it and walk out all over it, you're going to have that place blown out in one afternoon. And, you, and you're just you're going to be hurting yourself. So what we do, or what I do, and I do hunt from tree stands, at least the tree stands that I hunt out of are not, they're 10 to 12 feet high and I make them myself. You know, I make them out of lumber. Uh, so at least there's that handmade aspect. It makes me feel a little bit better. You know, at least I didn't go to the store and buy a, a modern, you know, metal stand and put it up and hunt out of it. You know, and I know not everybody is able to just build their own tree stand, but I'm just kind of explaining where I come from on it. Um, you know, sometimes people think that because I shoot, you know, two or three deer a year that I must have a great place to hunt or a big lease or something like that, and I don't. You know, I kind of refuse to pay for a lease. Um, it defeats, again, some of the primitive aspect of it, you know, trying to hunt primitive and then, you know, spend thousands of dollars on a lease, and, it, you know, it just doesn't work like that. But I am fortunate enough that I get to hunt a 20 acre parcel that a family friend owns and he's allowed me to hunt it for years. Um, but that's pretty much it. I've got a couple other little spots I can kind of go here and there, but th that's the one spot that I have the freedom to go hunt whenever I want. And because it's so small, uh, I hunt primarily there with tree stands. And the reason is, is because I don't want to blow the place out. Uh, you know, when you're on the ground, uh, whether you're in a ground blind that you've built or um, walking around, you're leaving a lot of scent in that particular spot. And if it's somewhere that you like to sit and watch a trail, the deer gets smart to that real quick. It doesn't take long for deer to come by, smell that concentration of scent and say, okay, a human's been here. Um, and I'm going to look at this spot now every time that I come by. And it doesn't take long to start getting busted. And when you start getting busted and you start leaving scent, um, the deer tend to be more nocturnal or they just won't come around at all. Especially these small acres like I hunt, they'll go around it. Or they'll just go the other direction. Uh, so you, you start really hurting yourself by doing it. But, but by hunting in a tree stand... Um, and we're getting up off the ground, you're still leaving scent, but what's happening is you're leaving your scent going in and out, and at least you're not there for hours accumulating scent. And yeah, I, you're going to get some scent that falls from a tree stand, but a lot of times the breeze takes it away and will blow it somewhere else. And although the deer, wherever it kind of tends to land, the deer might get smart to that, but they, they're not necessarily smart to where you are. And so those are some of the, the benefits of being in a tree stand. And, and as much as I don't really like to hunt a tree stand, if you're going to be successful on a small piece of land, you kind of got to 
do some of these things that are not going to hurt the place that you're hunting. Because like I said, it's not like we can just go hunt somewhere else every day. I mean, there's some of these people that have hundreds or thousands of acres that can go hunt. If I had that opportunity, I'd probably never ever hunt out of a tree stand because I really enjoy being on the ground and, you know, still hunting or kind of walking, you know, hunting. I like to find a good tree and hide behind it or, or stand in front of it and wait for the deer to come by. I mean, that's the essence of primitive hunting to me. Uh, and I do that on public land whenever I can. Uh, that's the way that I prefer to hunt. Or if I go to somebody that's got a big lease and they, you know, are going to invite me up for the weekend. And, uh, you know, of course, I don't want to just walk around and blow their place out. But if it's a big spot and they say, nah, you know, we're not going to hunt over here right now anyway. Uh, especially thickets that don't have tall trees that people tend not to like because they can't put a tree stand up. Um, I just love being able to do that. Or they'll say, you know, last two days of the hunt. Just go hunt wherever you want. And that's typically when I'm successful. I mean, I'm pretty darn successful at killing deer on the ground by walking, finding a spot, hunting it. Because, you know, your success increases uh, dramatically hunting a spot the first time. Because the deer haven't associated you with hunting to that spot. So I prefer to be on the ground. But, you know, when we're using a tree stand, we're basically compensating for the fact that we don't have you know, hundreds or thousands of acres that we can just hunt, you know, freely anywhere we want to go. So, you know, when you have that small acre parcel, you know, 10, 20, even 100 acres, you can blow it out really quick and ruin your spot by wandering around or even having a ground blind on it. You know, where a tree stand, it can kind of compensate for, you know, not having that freedom to kind of come and go and hunt different places. So as much as I don't like to hunt, out of a tree stand, especially with a primitive bow, um, it's kind of that happy medium of do I want a good place to hunt or do I want to hunt on the, on the ground all the time and probably you know, not kill deer, especially after the first week.